I'm uh, Mushtaq Khan. I'm a professor of uh, economics at the uh, School of Oriental and African Studies, the University of London. And I'm here at the conference. I was a discussant in the morning session. The morning session was very interesting because we had two papers. One was a paper setting up uh, a new data set looking at uh, political movements and mobilizations. And the other one was an uh, analytical paper looking at the events in, in Egypt and explaining that as a form of um, elite breakdown with the middle class defecting from the regime because of um, an inability to work out the distribution of benefits between them. And I think that these were both very important and interesting papers and they have a common theme and that's what I said in my um, comments on the papers that the basic issue of successful transitions and also the breakdown of, of uh, ruling coalitions is the role of organizations. If the, the ruling uh, coalition is unable to incorporate enough people inside the organizational structure, the, the ruling coalition feels threatened and doesn't spread the benefits of growth widely enough. And then uh, that has a, a, an effect of a self-fulfilling prophecy that the ruling coalition then becomes more and more unsustainable. And I think to some extent that's what um, um, Isaac uh, Dewan's paper was talking about, the breakup of that coalition. And it was a very um, good description, but I would add the role of organizations. Because the challenge now for, for Egypt is how should the middle class construct organizations which can operate in a competitive democratic environment by incorporating enough of the poor and yet spreading the benefits of growth more, more broadly. And here I think the, the, the lessons of other developing countries with democracies like India, Indonesia, Thailand, Pakistan, Bangladesh and so on tells us that the construction of organizations in these contexts requires actually a lot of patron client politics. It requires middle class organizations to be inclusive of the poor and that in a context where the tax revenue is very limited requires patron client politics and requires organizational activity, it requires building big organizations. And here is the weakness of the Egyptian uh, case which also comes out in the first paper we heard on, on data um, that the data tells us that when you have um, re regime change by unorganized mobilizations they generally tend to fail. So the challenge for Egypt is to come up quickly with organizations of the middle class but including large sections of the poor which can operate in a new democratic context.